With winter coming to an all-time high, this season has been quite cold. However, it has also been quite cold on the Roblox Twitter community, with a post happening recently which calls out star member Gaming with Kev, who is also known as Kevin Edwards Jr., and is most known for his YouTube channel in which he uploads gameplay videos of him commentating on gameplay or other gaming-related content. Now, most of you know Albert Stuff, better known as Flamingo on his new channel. If you don't, he is a YouTuber with over 4 million subscribers who uploads comedic gameplay videos. On February 21st, 2020, at around 2 o'clock p.m., Albert uploaded a thread about gaming with Kev and how his thumbnails have been stealing from multiple other YouTubers for years on the community, with too similar of an aspect to them. In the thread, Albert outlines problems with his thumbnails, which are the pictures that are shown when you click on a video. There is also a multiple follow-up thread to it. It's a situation that takes us back around a year, but has recently started up again, in which I will explain later in this video. In fact, Kevin's reputation has been stained to the point where he has earned himself the glorious title, Stealing with Kev. In today's video, we will be discussing the thread, my opinion on the issue, and we will be interviewing community members. My name is Tanuki Alex, and this is our Roblox drama series, where we take both sides of the story and analyze the situations fully. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. But before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe so that way you never miss out on the latest Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. Also, if you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my other friend, I'm in gaming, or follow him on Roblox, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Situations like these happen on Roblox's social medias, such as Roblox Twitter, the Roblox platform in itself, Roblox YouTube, Discord, and more, it's important that we get a fair and just perspective of what we report on to conclude the most accurate and reasonable conclusion. Otherwise, this can be considered bias. In the color post, we need to analyze this by reading both sides and finding out the majority comedian, also known as community, and list criteria. Our criteria for most situations like this is number one, the evidence. Number two, the response, and number three, the reason. We will be going through this video in this order. Number one, we will be going through Albert's side in the callout post, as well as Dennis's side. Number two, past situations, and number three, community opinion, as well as Kevin's side. Let's get started of what a summary of what happened in this situation. <laughs> So, on February 22nd, Albert uploaded a thread that says, Hey Kevin, please stop Kevin Edwards Jr. My thumbnail artist is Polar Cubs. Kevin is constantly stealing my thumbnail ideas and also copy and pasting faces that my artist hand drew and stealing other drawings I literally played Vlalude to do. He did this to Dennis too, next tweet under. So let's actually review the evidence. In the evidence, there's a side that says Flamingo and a side that says Gaming with Kev. On one, it says Roblox Moving Day, the other, it says Roblox Moving Day Story. Roblox don't press the button, and Roblox don't press the button. Roblox don't touch, and Roblox don't touch. Roblox Incognito, which one is the real gaming with Kev? Roblox Piggy, and Roblox Piggy. Roblox Hole Simulator, and Roblox Hole Simulator. Literally copy and pasted his monster onto three of his thumbnails. I commissioned Valid for this monster and I edited it in this one. Just hire her, she's incredible. So in this evidence there is Roblox Airplane and over here there is Roblox Airplane 2, Don't Watch, Roblox Bunker, and Roblox Plane Crash. The face is definitely stolen from Flamingo. Next tween under says, Copying is bad enough, but just stealing faces my artist hand drew is super lame. He's been doing this to Dennis for years as well. Check this year. Also, I hate drama, but I hate people stealing my artist work even more. Her and I put a lot of time into this. I come up with most ideas, and she actually creates them. Heart, 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 all love. Just please stop using other people's work for money. You're already a multimillionaire, lol. Now, let's read the Dennis tweet. 
As you can see in the evidence, it says Roblox Camping, The Birthday Party, Roblox Adventures and Another Roblox Adventures, Roblox Adventures Hide, Hide and Seek, Scariest Elevator, Horror Elevator, Shark Attack. Then the other seat says, Oh cool, Gaming with Kev's most popular video is a stolen thumbnail. Sweet. So, let's summarize that evidence. In that evidence, Albert commissions an artist for three faces, which were stolen in three separate thumbnails. It is Albert's intellectual property, and so he is angry at him for using it. The main key that was pointed out was the monster shown in three thumbnails. Now, Albert also points out that on multiple occasions, he has also stolen ideas as well, which is still bad, but it is his intellectual property. Furthermore, to opinionate his side, he brings up Kevin's past instances of stealing artist work which is not his own and the tweet provided with Dennis in it and similar wording in a t-chart, where in this instance, he steals ideas and some of Dennis's thumbnails work. Some examples we discussed were the camping game and more. Based off this evidence and talk from the artist, we know that number one, it's his property, not just stolen thumbnails, and that Albert has evidence to back up his side, rather than just an accusation of copying. And in the last statement, Albert points out that he does not want to start drama, but he was tired of him stealing his ideas. Based off this evidence, we can conclude that number one, this evidence is real based off transactions and stolen property. Number two, Albert has brought up real cases where Kevin has done this in the past to other content creators, where he brings up Demis, formerly the PAL's leading member. Number 3. Albert explains that he does not want to start drama, and based off past tweets, Albert is a pretty happy-going person. Based off this, I'd say Albert has some pretty compelling evidence. Let's see what Kevin's side is. <laughs> So, Gaming with Kev has a Twitter, but he hasn't been on it in over a year by looking at the tweets. This isn't looking good for him. The last time Kevin used his Twitter from dates was when Dennis called him out personally, which was over a year ago. From other sources in the thread, Kevin is also stolen from other former Pals members, such as Sub, and when Sub told him to change it, he still continued doing it. Kevin's YouTube is also still active with videos, and he seems to just not be acknowledging the situation whatsoever. Gaming with Kev uploaded 21 hours ago, and it seems he is still using the exact same mouth in his latest episode, Roblox A Stormy Night. Gaming with Kev has been critiqued for this in the past, which many covered a year ago. With the situation rising, this certainly doesn't look good for Kev. So, what's Kev's side? Number one, he has not provided a response, enabling minimal clarity to his audience. He seems to be ignoring the situation and hiding something. Number two, Kevin has not been on Twitter for over a year, and even worse, it was when Dennis called him out for the last time he used it. So much for God first. After all, thou shall not steal is one of the Ten Commandments. Overall, Kevin has absolutely no evidence to reprimand his side, with no response being. Let's move on to community opinion. Let's read some tweets on the situation. It's clear that nobody else great would make him thumbnails. So he has to be a lowlife and copy just to look appealing. Homie hasn't used Twitter for like a year. Where the hell did he go, LMAO? Last time he used it was when Dennis called him out, LOL. If I recall, I think Sub went to Kev multiple times about it, and he just didn't care. No idea why he does this still kind of thing. Get him, King. I never watched him, but I remember hearing about him doing this to Dennis a while ago. It's always disappointing to see creators stealing from one another. Stealing with Kev moment. It's about time he got called out for it publicly again. Extremely scummy and disgraceful. Expose him, expose him, expose him. Yes. Gaming with thieves. Kevin just got cancelled. Based on these tweets, let's come to our final conclusion. 
In conclusion, Kevin is in the wrong for what he did. He should not be stealing others' intellectual property, and he won't acknowledge it, so he'll probably end up continuing until something else happens, which I don't know which. Thank you very much for watching my video. I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe. I'm sorry if this one took me a bit while to make, I had other things to do. Anyways, another announcement. I'd like to announce that we now have Tanuki Alex merch in the Roblox group. There's around three of them and more of them will be added soon. If you'd like to purchase them, that would mean a lot to me. All funds will go back to the group. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.